Hey, G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So, today's episode, we got this cool ice right here, and basically, what this is is a portable ice maker machine. If you see when you guys first get the package, here is basically what the product looks like. So, first, I'm actually open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. All right, so you guys first open it up. Here, it basically what it actually looks like inside. So, inside, they do provide guys a user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. And right underneath that, we do have the actual product. So, let's take it out. So then see when you guys do take it out, the product is all well packaged and everything. But let's take off all the packaging to show you guys what the product looks like. All right, so once you guys take it out, here is basically what the product looks like. So you see for the one that we got right here is a silver color. They do have this available in many other colors as well. So you definitely want to do your own research to see which one you prefer. But inside right here, you see we do have the ventilation fan. Top right here, we do have the opening for the product. And right here, we do have the indicator light to show you guys what you guys are using. So right here, let you guys know to add water. Right here means the ice is full. Right here is power option. And here is small and large. So for this ice making machine, it does allow you guys to create small ice or large ice cube. But right underneath that, you see we do have a power button. And right here, we do have a select button. And we guys turn to the back. Here is basically what the back part looks like. So the cable that's included is right here. So you do want to plug it in to actually activate it. And right here is basically what the bottom part looks like. Let me see how it does have like that non stick material in the bottom to prevent it from moving around when you guys do put in fat surface. And when you guys do feel the overall weight of the product, it definitely has a little bit of weight to it. So for this product they mentioned in 24 hours, it can make 26 pounds of ice, which is more than enough for you guys to use it for a party or some kind of event if you guys want to. And they mentioned when you guys do use the product, it takes roughly around six to eight minutes for you guys to actually start creating ice inside, which is pretty cool. But let's open up the inside to show you guys what the inside looks like. So when I open the inside, that is basically what the inside looks like. So they do provide you guys a scooper option. And right here, they do provide you guys a little basket. So let's take it out. So you do want to peel out the tape first if it's your first time using the product. Once you guys take it out, here's basically what the basket looks like inside. And you also want to peel off the other tape inside as well. So it's going to be hard for me to show you guys the inside, but there is a compartment inside where it has a claw inside to actually push out the ice cube when you guys do use it. So I'm not sure if you see inside right here. And then that is basically what the inside looks like. So when you do add the water inside, there is a max line in terms of how much water you guys want to add, which is basically right here. So when you guys do add the water, you don't want to go above this line right here. But that is basically everything that's on the bottom. Let me actually go test this out to show you guys how it works. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. So what I want to do first is to actually add some water inside. So I'm actually do that first. And they do mention the water you guys want to add inside is some distilled water. But I think if you guys add like filtered water or something, it should be fine. But you probably want to wash everything inside here first to make sure it's clean before you use it. So right here, I do have some filtered water. Let's add it inside. All right, so that should be good. Let me bring the camera a little bit closer to show you guys what the inside looks like. All right, so here is basically what the inside looks like. So you see that max line option right here? You don't want to fill about that line. The amount of water that we do have inside right here should be fine. So what I'm doing now is to put the bucket back inside. And you do have the option to leave this inside or put this outside one side for now. But once you guys add the water inside, you can close back up. And you're gonna press the power button, turn it on. So see, once you guys do turn it on, right now we have it set at large. If you guys wanna change it, click right here. And now for small. But for this task, I wanna do large. So we'll keep it at large right now. So we have to open the inside. Here's basically what the inside looks like. So then here for the product, when you guys do use it, it definitely works. You can hear the fan working inside. But we'll let it do its own thing and it will come back and check on it once it's done. You can see that it's basically how the product works when you guys do use it. So we're gonna bring this part up and create the ice cube inside. And then once it's done, it drops it inside right here. And then use a little shovel or a claw to push it out. And then this is the final result. So you can see for the product, it definitely does work. It actually works pretty well. But we're gonna let it run a little bit more and then show you guys what the product looks like when you create a little bit more ice to give you guys an idea of how much ice you can produce. But for the amount of ice cube that you see right here, that took roughly around like five minutes. We're gonna let it continue to do its own thing and we'll come back and check on it to see how much ice can reduce, maybe after like 20 minutes or so. All right, so after leaving the product running for like 30 minutes to an hour, let me show you guys what the inside looks like. All right, so once you guys open up, here is basically what the inside looks like once you guys do leave it on for like 30 minutes to an hour. So you can see inside there's a lot of ice cube now. And all the ice cube looks pretty big because we made a large option. So I'm assuming once the ice reaches a certain level, it will turn off by itself. But you can see the product definitely does work. Welcome back guys. So now it's a quick test the product definitely actually does work and actually works quite well. So I've been seeing the whole setup process and everything didn't take that long. 
Once you guys add the water inside and just turn it on, you guys want to press what you guys want to use. Whether you guys want small or large option, they just want to let it do its own thing and come back and check on it. And we see when we do put it right here, it actually looks pretty nice. It doesn't waste a lot of space as well because it is pretty compact. So whether if you guys want to use it at home, in office, or anywhere else, how you guys want to use it and wherever you guys want to use it, that is totally up to you guys. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to keep unboxing and testing product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth it or not. So for this part, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want my need warranties, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality portable ice cube making machine, like the one that we have right here, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have no warranties, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.